Hey, what's up, y'all? And welcome back to another episode of Trailer Tales. I'm Dave Gunther. And I am Crystal. And I'm Tammy. Okay, and we're back. You thought you got rid of us, but guess what? We're back, baby. Stronger and harder than ever. Yep. Stronger and harder than ever. And c- can I just say something that we were talking about right before we started this podcast? Crystal, what did you say when Dave walked in? I- <laughs> He had his little jacket on and started to take it off slowly. And uh, I said, there's something about a gray wife beater that I cannot resist. And it's true. Yeah. A, there's something different about a gray wife beater. And it's always the dirtiest, nastiest, kinkiest, funkiest, strongest men that wear them. Yeah. Hear that? Men with a capital M. Mm-hmm. So it's different for you than a white one or a black one. That's what you're saying? A white one indicates to me. If I see a man in his yard cutting the grass with the white one, I think middle class. Okay. I think more elegant. Hmm. I think Olive Garden. I see a guy with a gray one, I'm thinking Red Lobster. I'm thinking Spencer's Gift Store. I'm thinking... Name brand products. Really? Hmm. So you're thinking class. 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 But not just class, class. So I'm thinking class with a side of grunge. A side of no job, showers twice a week. Smells like teen spirit. Another great POD song. Yes. But may or may not uh, treat you like the queen that you are. Okay. Okay. So a, a great wife beater gets get you throbbing is what throbbing. you're saying. Now, what does a black wife beater do to you? You know, you don't see those too much, but that is giving me vibes of like the dad who wears a black sock with the white tennis shoes. Mm. So I'm just not even putting that in my equation. I see a black wife beater. This is what I do to you mentally. Yeah, you, you're swiping it swiping. Tinder, on Tinder. Well, whatever, Bumble, Tinder. Hinge, Farmers Only. You're swapping Christian no. singles, I'm sleeping. Okay. Metaphorically and physically. Okay. All right. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. You love the gray ones. They get you throbbing. I thought, that's interesting. Let's talk about that on the podcast. And that was off the record. I didn't say that for the podcast. I said that in passing. Yeah. And they, they picked up on it. And that's why... We can be considered one of the greatest podcasts because we're taking real life tidbits, bringing it over into this. Yeah. And I do want to ask uh, real quick before I have a question for you. But uh, now that you brought that up, we are climbing the charts. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Okay. We are charting week after week with this podcast. Thanks to your help. Okay. You're, you're, you're really making us climb those charts and you're supporting us. Okay. And we thank you. I just charted my pants. Because me, hey, of y'all. Me too. Did you? Okay. You charted your shorts? Well, I wanted to ask you. Crystal's spoken. What gets you throbbing? What gets what gets the blood rushing down there when you when you see a woman, okay? Whether in passing or if it's someone you know or whatever. What on a woman, whether she does something or wears something, that gets you just rock solid hard? Side boob, front boob, back boob. Medium boob, little boob, big boob. Dave Gunther is a titty man. Mm. So you're saying if I've got a big fat roll on my back and it looks like a tit or maybe like if it's in the dark and you're grabbing it and and, and it could feel like a tit, you would like that. Let's just say we're going to Red Throbster for dinner. Whoa. (laughs) That's where we're going, all right? Hey, it ain't got no nipple on it. Come on, come on. What about nipple? You could draw one on it. Now, see... What did you say? You could draw one on it. Draw one on there. Take a pink Sharpie and draw it. Mm-hmm. I've never thought of it like that, mm-hmm. but that sounds appetizing. Creative. Now, if I was at Red Lobster, I might put a bib around that thing and I might start sucking on that side back. <laughs> I might even put some of that, that garlic butter on it, slather it up on there. Mm. I love, I just love boobs. You do. You've always said that. Always. Yeah. You, you've always said that. 
Yeah. And that's the thing. And I have heard, I have heard this from men, men who love big women. They say, I love a big woman because everywhere you touch feels like a titty. Mm -hmm. I think Galileo said that. Aristotle, somebody. Somebody said that, right? Yeah. All right. Let's do a test. Close your eyes. Give me your hand. <laughs> you have to say titty or something else. Ready? What is that? That's something else. You're right. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's something else. There's, right. some, there's some bone in that. Oh, that might. What is it? That might be. No might. What is it? That's something else. Okay. You're good. Just wanted to see. Damn, he knows his titties. I feel like I didn't get rewarded there like I <laughs> should have been. <laughs> All right. I thought it was, there was going to be like a. Like nope, a, just a test. Like a titty at the end or just something? Just a present. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a surprise at some point like. That's the A B test. Nope. Well, but, and, and I, I mean, okay. I, I do want to say this. She's wearing a, a a really thick hoodie, okay, with with the with the shirt underneath, okay. Now, if she was nude, I guarantee it, you wouldn't have known the difference. Maybe the shoulder, you touched her shoulder. It was a little bony. Yeah, yeah. but the stomach and the backside for sure, you would have thought was titty. Mm -hmm. You would have. Okay. So I'm just gonna throw. I'm just gonna say that. Mm -hmm. And you think you can outsmart and say, oh, no, I can tell when it's a titty and when it's not. Get her in the nude, mm -hmm. which I know you've been trying to do anyway. So when it finally happens, come back. And we'll do that same test. Yeah. Very scientific. Titty or something else is what it's called. That's what the, the test it's is called? It's called titty or something else. Have you ever played wiener or something else? No. You want to play it right now? <laughs> I mean, sure. Okay. Do it. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Give him your hand. Now open your tooth. <laughs> Take your tooth out. Okay. Get her. Okay, you ready? This is either going to be a wiener or something else. Okay. Hold on, I got to put my tooth in the safety area. Okay. <laughs> Smile. Okay. Let's show us the tooth. Smile. Are okay. you putting something by my mouth? Not well. He's gonna stick something in there. I you mean, can't stick nothing in there. <laughs> Is it gonna be a I wiener? Done I've, I've done lost one. I ain't losing this one. If you lost two front teeth, <laughs> oh man, that'd be something special. That'd be wild. You could whistle for days. Just yes. use my hand. Use her hand. Okay. Now this is either gonna be a penis or <laughs> or something else. All right. Okay. Now I'm not peeking. My head is turned. What is that? <laughs> something. Else. It's something else. Listen, let me tell you this, Dave. Yeah. If anybody knows a penis, it's that woman. <laughs> yep. Okay. You can touch every single part of your body. I'll know it's something else. Okay. Yeah, and when it's a penis, she's gonna know it. <sighs> okay. Okay, give her back her hand. There you go. I won. She won. She got it. <laughs> I didn't get to do more than one? Because I know. Because I know the penis was going to be next. That's and like not... asking Jesus, did you do this or that? You know Jesus did it. Yeah. And we're not trying to get de uh, uh, demonic, or what's it called, when yep. they take away demonic your Demonicized? On, demonetized on YouTube. De demonked. Demonicized. Demonic. We're not trying to get demonicized on YouTube. Yeah. Apparently, you can't do nothing nowadays. You can't even put a. So maybe, maybe it's good that she didn't yep. put my hand on her yep. bosom because then we could have got demonic sized. Right. Yes. Exactly. Okay. How did you know I was putting my wiener in her hand next? I, because I know you. Okay. Then you, you would have squirted it everywhere. Squirted? Wait. Wait, hold on. You think that just me putting <laughs> my willy in your hand, I would have squirted yes. everywhere? Yes. Really? You forget yes. really? I, you haven't had sex in two years. And you forget I used to babysit you. You rub one out to a cartoon, a little Smurfs, a little Smurfs cartoon. Yeah. Little, what's her name? The little girl Smurf. Smurfette. Smurfette. Every time she gets on the screen, you rub, you was rubbing one out. 
Also, Tina, the Mortal Kombat character, I used to rub one out too. Yep. Tina Tornado? Tina Tornado. Yeah. Tina's Tornado. Yeah. Tina's Tornado. Yeah. And there ain't nothing wrong with with jizzing fast. Most men do. You right. just do it extra fast. Extra. Yeah, you touched me wrong. It might happen. I want to ask you something, though. You haven't been with a woman in two years. You you would disagree with that, but I got you drunk one night and you admitted to it. So don't 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 sit there and say, "Oh, I was joking." Where you sit there and say, "Oh, I boned someone last week." You didn't. Okay, it's been two years. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Now you're all over the apps. You're on the Bumbles. You're on the hinge. Hinge. You're on the TikToks and all that. What's going on? Why haven't you been laid? Well, first of all, I didn't think that we're going to bring up this on the podcast. Well, listen, you're not a bad looking guy. You're charismatic. Okay. You you know, we we talked, you know, you're a good guy. So what's going on? You being picky? Maybe. Interesting. What's that about? I think it's the 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 pro- the proximity i think i need to expand my distance a little bit okay what you got it set to quarter mile <laughs> is that too specific mm-hmm. well yeah i would expand it a little bit because we live out in the country and there's the nearest houses a mile down the road let me see your profile your dating profile hand you your phone oh I thought you read his bio because the bio says a lot about a man you know if let's say if i'm swapping Mm. and let's say i I see a bio that says i eat and i will eat your tonight i'm swapping on him okay if i see a guy's profile that says um no fat chicks Mm -hmm. and i don't eat i'm not gonna swipe on him the school of hard knocks that's where you got educated. So, do you think? Do you think I need to clean up? Do you think I need to clean up my bio a little bit? Keep is, reading it. It's pretty long. I don't know if you should read all I of it. I want him to read it. So you read it. You. School I want to hear it. How it sounds. You have, you have your glasses on. You I want to hear how it sounds coming out of your mouth. Oh, read it to us. Okay. Go ahead. All right, you guys. Where did you attend school? School of Hard Knocks. Mm-hmm. Okay. Current employment. What does it say? Sitting on your face. Wow. Okay. Keep going. Where'd you go to high school? In your mom. I would have already swiped at the first one. School of Hard Knocks. What does it say when it says interested in? What did you put on there? Labia. Wow. Okay, this is a problem. Okay. Any other questions? I guess no, I'm an, no. I guess your, I'm an open book. Anywhere oh in your profile do you have these words? My kids are my whole world. Even if you don't have kids. I do have that and I don't have kids. I don't know why I put oh that in there. Oh god. You put my kids are my whole world? <laughs> I thought that would be I thought that'd be enticing for single moms for me to fuck. You put my Mm. kids or my whole world. (laughs) Come on, man. Is that should that not go on my dating profile? No, delete that. Okay. Anything else I should delete delete? the whole thing. Okay. Jesus Christ. I like Let me see what pictures you got on there. I like long walks on the beach, but I like longer walks in your vagina. Oh God. What pictures did he have pictures. on there? Let's look at the pictures. All right. <clears throat> well, the very first one is is you're obviously in middle school or high school or something. You're 16. This was 13 fucking years ago. And it was taken on a flip fo- razor phone. Yeah. Update your pictures. Maybe I don't have one. Okay. Whose car, whose car is that? Dale. Who? Dale. Oh, God. You don't remember Dale from Trailer Park? That's not even your car. I know it's not my car, but he has the nicest car in the neighborhood. 
You don't fish. You don't fish. Whose fish are you holding up? I paid a kid two dollars so I could hold his fish. In the... And you're and here you're in a bathroom. The bathroom is disgusting. You didn't even flush the toilet. There's shit in the toilet. There's stuff all over the counter. And you got your you got your hat on sideways. And you're doing this in the mirror. Why are you doing that? And why'd you take that picture? And why'd you put it on your Tinder? Because I, my cousin Tad, told me that it looked cool. <sighs> We got to revitalize this. I didn't know it was this bad, We're dude. not going to do it on, obviously, no, on the podcast. No, we'll, we'll help but... you off the pod. But just know, if y'all if y'all are out there and you got the the tenders and all that. So sh- should I delete the quote that says, if you're on your period, I'm on my exclamation point? Mm-hmm. I would actually leave that one because I would swap on you if it. If you if I saw that, uh, that would actually be good for me. That's buried kind of deep. Ba- so should I bump that up? Bump that up on top. Okay. Bump that up on. She don't like getting her pussy ate on her period, so she don't. She not in this conversation. I do. Okay, so leave that on there for sure. It answers that question though. Why you ain't got laid? That's an abom. That whole thing is an abomination. You should go up to account and delete and just start over. That's bad. You got any matches? I got one. What ha- what happened? Um. How'd it go? Well. She identified as a mongoose. Oh, the bi- like the bike? Yeah. Okay. So I rode her all night long. No, you didn't. I didn't. You did not. I didn't. I know damn well you did. Okay, what happened was we went on a date. I found out she was homeless, and she just stayed the night at my place, and she just needed a warm bed. Wow. Okay? Wow. Wow. Interesting. All right, well... Can I read one of the emails that we got sent? Okay, read the... Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. That's a switch, palate cleanser. Switch the subject. Palate cleanser. Let's pivot. Read an email. Okay. Good. This one will get the attention off of me. This one's about Tammy and Crystal. Scarlet Reed sends us in. What's the wildest thing you've done in a retail store bathroom? Mm. Are we... Okay. I mean, I got a lot of stories. Are we doing sexual or not? I mean, I think either. What's the wildest thing that you've done, sexual or not, in a retail store? Mm. Trailer Tales! Hey, y'all. Sorry I couldn't be with you. Can you see me through this Zoom right now? Yeah. I can see you. Can you see us? Yeah. Well, we have a very oh. important message to tell people. That's why we're getting together on this Zoom. Because we're yeah. sponsored by Factor, a meal plan service. Because... Listen, sometimes I just don't want to cook, okay? And y'all know I love to cook. I love cooking for people. But dang it, sometimes I want to come home and have something ready for me. I want to be the king of the castle when I come home. And I love seeing a stack of pre-prepared meals from Factor ready to eat and ready to heat up in two minutes or less. Ooh, no prepping, no cooking. And guess what? No cleanup because I hate washing dishes. Because I'm the one that cooks, okay, and then we eat, and then she cleans, and she's griping the entire time. Well, we don't got, we, neither of us do that with, with uh, Factor. Not, neither of us do that. I heard they got over 35 meal options to choose from. That's a heck of a lot of options right there. And listen, here's the deal, okay? Y'all know, I don't eat BS, okay? If it's not good, I'm not touching it. If it's not good... I'm uh, kicking it like a little football across the yard. And she's seen me do that she several does. several times with, with takeout and stuff like that. She does. I will do it, okay? Yeah. These little meals are high-quality, flavorful. Mm, the flavor, ooh, the flavor. Through the roof flavor. Every single yeah. time. And you know what? You guys should head to factormeals.com slash trailer50 and use code trailer50 to get 50% off. That's code TRAILER50 at factormeals.com slash TRAILER50 to get 50% off. That's a good deal. And I was about to say, that's a dang good deal. This ain't no, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll give you a little discount. They're giving them 50% off. That's half. Dang. Half. That's go- that's Listen, and even at full price, these little factor meals are cheaper than if you door dashed. Mm-hmm. Oh. 
Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. You know what I mean, I mean oh. the, the people with the delivery and all stuff, it's getting out of hand, all right? Get some healthy meals that are delivered right to you. Heat up in two minutes or less. Go to Factor. Hey, y'all. Go see Tammy and Crystal live on tour in Oxnard, Irvine, Brea, and Ontario, California, Bloomington and Marion, Illinois, Nashville, Tennessee, Huntsville, Alabama, Cary, North Carolina, and of course, the Bahamas cruise. Get tickets and more at eatmytrash.com. And go see my pal Jeremiah Watkins live on tour in San Francisco, California, Spokane, Washington, New York, New York, Austin, Texas, West Bend, Wisconsin, Kansas City, Missouri, and every second Tuesday of the month for Stand Up on the Spot in Los Angeles at the World Famous Comedy Store. New merch and tickets at jeremiahwatkins.com. Thanks, y'all. Because I lived in between the gaps of the 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 coat racks for yeah. a couple weeks one time when my mom left me in there. Okay. Well, um, God. I mean, besides shoplifting. Yeah. have done a lot of shoplifting in yeah. In bathrooms. Because they always have that sign that says no retail beyond this point. I don't ever listen to that. And I'd push my whole cart in there. What's she back has. there? I've never seen what's back there. It's a bathroom. Just a bathroom. Oh, okay. But it'll say no no uh, clothing beyond this point or something. Or, you know, no, oh, right, no right, items right. beyond this point. Because they think people are going to go in there and steal, and they do. But yeah. they think that sign's going to stop us. Mm. And mm -hmm. to me, that sign screams... Bring your stuff back here. Right. Because this is a good place to steal. One time I was in a Ross dress for less and I was going down the aisles and I was, oh, this is about maybe 10 years ago. So I was what, 26? And I saw uh, Mr. Cooper. Pre uh, 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 Hanging with Mr. Cooper? No, well, it, the principal. Alice Cooper? No. No. Our high school principal, bitch. Mr. Cooper. I'm sorry I just named two very famous Coopers, and then I forgot our fucking principal, Mr. Cooper. You think Alice Cooper's going to be uh, in Ross Dress for Less? I don't know. He's what if be he was? Coles. What if he wants to dress for less, too? Listen, I saw Mr. Cooper in Ross Dress for Less. Guess who ended up sucking his dick in the Ross bathroom? Guess. Me. You didn't guess, though. I didn't guess because she said me before I could get right. to it. You, but took, you took too long. If it was somebody else, then it would have been weird that you were just watching some stranger right. suck right. his dick. Right. No, it was me. Okay, yeah, I figured. So that was interesting. That was a lot of fun. I put it on uh, Facebook. I'll never forget that. I put, oh, I'd, you guys, I just saw Mr. Cooper and Ross, and I ended up blowing him in the bathroom. I tagged him. Now how, many people, now, how many people thought it was Alice Cooper, though, in the post? Nobody, because I, I tagged him. Oh. And his wife got real mad about that. But he told me they were divorcing, so. Of course, I believed him, like an idiot. All men lie. Mm -hmm. Just to get their dick sucked. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I believed him. That was on me. I was young and dumb. And? Full of cum. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And I was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that was that was fun. You know, stuff like that's fun. Um. Crystal, do you do you have one that's sexual or not? Not a sexual. I mostly just uh, shoplift, and I'll also stand on the toilet and peek over at people. Because I like to see if they... You're a peeping Tammy? I like to see if um, they take the toilet paper and wad it up or put it around their hand. She's been keeping a tab. She carries around a little notebook, and she tabs who... Who wads it and who twirls it, and she writes it down. She, she you've been doing this since I was a oh, kid. I've been doing it. I've been doing it since they had you know bathrooms of you know more than three or four stalls. I don't go in there if it's just one stall because they'll see me. Yeah. Well, if there's anything I know about you, you're all about the stats. I love stats. So go ahead and tell our podcast listeners what you've learned over the decades in terms of in terms of uh, people's um, what's it called when you study people. Sociology. You you've always wanted to be that. Mm -hmm. Sociology. You, you never got to go to college, so she mm -hmm. kind of does it on her own independently. Well, what I have found is that seventy nine percent of females thirty five to fifty six do this method. What is that for somebody who doesn't? They have... wrap the toilet paper around. Wrap. Like around the whole it, hand. Around mm -hmm. the hand, and they want it a nice smooth wrap. Mm -hmm. 
instead of a wad. What about y'all two? Which one do you do? I wrap and then wad the end. Mm-hmm. And do you do you stand up or you you stay sit, seated? That's the end. Do I stand up when I wipe my ass? Yeah. Do I want my uh, uh, cheeks clenched together when I'm trying to clean it? I don't know. Do you? No. I sit down like a normal fucking person and wipe my ass. I, why would I stand up to wipe? Because naturally, since the beginning of time, as human beings, we started off pooping standing up and not sitting down on some toilet. You don't know that. Yeah, I do. You have pictures of people standing up in the old days, cavemen standing up wiping their butts? No, I don't have pictures of people because the photograph was not introduced do until you see later on. Hieroglyphics of little figurines standing there going like this. I don't know why they would want to paint that shit, so no. People were not standing and shitting. Well, that's common sense. And I and this might be confrontational or something, but I do stand and it's because the size of my ass is large. I can't physically reach around to wipe. But you didn't always do that until your ass grew. If your ass ass was half the size, you'd sit down and do it like a normal person. And always, always, always wipe back to front. Yes. That's what I do. Back to back front. Back to front? Hold on. You gonna sit Why there? would you wipe back to front? To get it good. What do you mean to get it good? To get the whole good. You're going back to front? Yeah. That's disgusting. I'm using a Lysol wipe. A Lysol wipe? The bleach wipes? Yeah, the yellow. With the yellow package. Don't that burn? No. What is your <laughs> made of? Well, why would I get? Why would I use regular toilet paper and then anal bleach when I could just use Wasol wipes? Why are two you birds, using one stone. bleach? Two birds, one stone. Go to my OnlyFans to find out. Do you go from back to front? Yes. Hold on. No, don't act there and sit and and act surprised when you just sat there and told us you wipe your ass standing up. Like a damn idiot. I'm just Hold shocked. On. How are you getting the hole clean when it's clenched up? It's not because there's still a little bit of squat when I stand. So you stand up and you lean back? Oh, Show you- us. Show us what you do. Show us. All right, he's standing up, me showing us. Okay. Okay, can I ask you something? Why not do it sitting down? Because it gets even farther up there with you when you stand. See, I disagree. My hole spreads open more if I'm sitting down relaxed. If I'm standing up, I'm clenched up. You don't have much standing sex, do you? No, I'm laying on my back every time. Oh, okay, interesting. Or on top. Okay. Hmm. Why would I stand when there's a bed there? Because it's sometimes fun. Not to, for me. To get up... And not do for it the standing? Woman. Not for the woman. Really? Not for the woman. You never like to be pushed up against a closet door? If you want to get in a fight. Yeah, if I'm push, throwing it down with someone. Push me into a wall, see what happens. Exactly. You never had it in the kitchen, like up against the counter? No, I'm cooking dinner. Yeah. That's what I'm doing in the yeah. kitchen. Do you know how hot it is to roll up on a woman consensually and, you know... Greet her while she's cooking a grilled cheese sandwich and you know, slipping in from behind. You know how to burn the grilled cheese? Take your eyes off it for 30 seconds while you're getting dicked down. That's how you waste a grilled cheese and burn and burn the house down. You've never flipped flapjacks while you're getting your flops flapjacked? No, because my titties will flop up on the stove. And I'm not I'm not gonna burn I'm not gonna burn my titties. I'm shocked by the stance that y'all are taking today. But you know what? No matter what. I swear to God, if he farts one more time. I wish I had to fart right now. I'd do it in your fucking face. I wish you would do it in my face. Double dog dare me? Yeah. I double dog dare you to do it in my face. Okay. If I got a fart coming up, get ready. Get ready to get down oh, there. I'll, I'll lean in. I will lean in if you have a fucking fart. Because I don't think that you're made of enough Mm. to get one brewed. Mm. Okay. 
Which brings me to my next point. How long, this is a big topic that we got sent in, into the email. How long do you need to be dating someone before you can rip one in front of them? I say right away. I say when you match on Tinder and that first message goes through, it needs to be a video of you farting. Mm-hmm. Full body, face, everything in there. You need to really show them what you got. And if they don't message you back, not the man for you. Or block you. If they block you, not the man for you. And you have matched with a lot of people on Tinder with this technique. You don't want some kind of fake Barbie that has no body processes like poop and pee and fart. Because that ain't reality. Reality is people do do those things. Mm Mm-hmm. And a lot of guys just like farts. Your body is made up of 70% gas. Is that true, though? Yes. So don't sit there and go, oh, he don't want to see me fart. You know, this relationship's new. He does. He does. And if you think, oh, he's not going to fuck me if I fart, men will fuck anything. He'll fuck the fart out of you. He'll, He'll fuck you while you're farting. Now, you might be saying, well, why do you get so mad when Dave farts? Because he catches us off guard. And, well, he, and he puts his mic up against his butthole. <laughs> so the listeners can hear it. But if we have our private investigator, you know, looking at our tapes saying, do I want to keep funding this? Do I want to keep funding this when this grown man is taking a very expensive piece of equipment from Radio Shack, I'm assuming. Is this from Radio Shack? Yeah. And then farting in it like it's not so, from radio so how Shack? would you like me to fart on the podcast if it's not in the microphone just regular just go just but then it's re- not amplified it's my microphone why can't i do with it what i want okay we'll take it up with the investor it's, whenever he reaches out it's to you. not your microphone until we make him enough money on this podcast to pay off the private investigator okay well first of all he mentioned in between episodes last time, he does not want to be talked about. We keep mentioning him, but he doesn't want to be talked about on camera. He doesn't want his name mentioned, but we can talk we can about still... someone funding us, and okay, he's a fine. private investor. Okay. Yeah, we just can't say his name or who he is or nothing, but we can say that there is one. Okay, fine. Yeah. Fine. Like, we can't say, if, it, if for instance, if it was Joe Rogan, we can't say, oh, it's Joe Rogan. No, we can't say that. We would never say that. Or, right. Right. Oh, it's uh, Seth Rogen. Yeah, we can't. We say would it. never say no. that. Or if it's yeah, uh, King Charles. Yeah. If let's say for instance, if King Charles was a private investigator, we wouldn't say, "Oh, it's King Charles." Right. We would never say that. <laughs> Don't you do it. And he looked me right in the eye. Looked me in the eye, as if procuring a romantic relationship with me. Yeah, but it's called courting. Ever heard of the bitch? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That one slipped out. No, it didn't because you went like you exactly like this. You went. You knew it was coming. No, the bitch. I don't. I don't like oh. to call you that because I love oh, you. I thought you meant the fart. No, oh, yeah. the fart was very she, deliberate. She actually loves being called a bitch. Really? Not like oh you 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 know if but if she's in bed with a man and he says oh you like that you little nasty bitch little she dirty loves bitch. it. You want me to choke you, you little bitch? She loves little it. Little dirty bitch. Yeah. Nothing to get you off more than mm-hmm. hearing you be called a bitch. Yeah. When knowing damn well you're not a bitch. Mm. Mm-hmm. So you it's say the, right away. It's the reverse psychology. I think you should fart right away. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think you should pretend to be something you're not for a man or for anybody, for a woman, anybody. Don't pretend to be something you're not. If you fart, fart. If you got to fart, fart. If you... Would just listen to the beat of my fart. You would know. And again, I don't mind listening. It's the microphone on the fart. Because here's why. If we had just a plastic mic, I feel like that'd be different. But we got these little foams on top and they and they capture uh they capture air and, and fecal matter and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so it's gonna capture it. Now if we had where it was plastic and it could bounce off Mm -hmm. i probably wouldn't care but it's the it's the it's the mic it's the foam mic and what if one day for whatever reason you're not able to come to the podcast and we can't find no other puffs and i see your red puff and i just have to use it because there ain't no more puffs available so everyone listening 
that's listening or not watching, I've got a purple puff on my microphone, okay? And I have a pink and blue puff. Pink and blue. And then Dave's got a red one. We each have our own mics, okay? Mine is clean. Crystal's is clean. Dave's is full of fecal matter. So if something happened to one of ours and we had to share, share a mic or use yours or whatever, mm-hmm. guess what? Guess what is a half an inch away from my lips? Your shit. Okay? Not to mention you got the fecal matters flying around the room. I can see it like <laughs> dust in the air. Okay, we're in a tight space. And it's just a little nasty. Sorry. That did not seem genuine. No, no, no. I'm really sorry. Once again, not genuine. No, Crystal, I'm sorry. Hmm. Okay, you see that eye roll? I saw the whole thing, and I know body language, and that body language, to me, was being passive-aggressive. 100%. You know what? Hmm. Say I'm, it. I'm sorry. That, now, that seemed real. That really seemed real. Okay. I got no. a little offended. Okay. Okay. No, no matter, matter what, what happens, happens, no matter, no matter what, what comes out of our holes, holes, we love each, each other. other, we, we love, love this podcast, podcast. with Friends all our hearts, hearts. with all Friends. our farts. Friends on three. One, two, three. Friends. Don't you feel better after that? That's what it yeah. comes back to. Yeah. That's what it always comes back to, and that is really a testament to not only this podcast, but humankind and human nature. It's no matter what we... You okay, Crystal? No matter what we do, no matter what the world does, no matter how many wars there are, no matter how many children are starving, in the end, if we if we come together yeah. and um, put, our, put, put your hands, whether that be metaphysically or metaphorically um together and and make a testament everything will be okay that's beautiful and it goes it it goes to show another testament that if you have a disagreement with a friend or someone you love or or you get mad or aggravated with a friend or someone you love just talk it out Mm -hmm. and just say hey we're friends and we love each other and it's gonna be okay and then it gets better. Because friendship should be like farts. Mm-hmm. Transparent. Mm-hmm. Right. And immediate. Yeah. And immediate. And immediate. You're right. You're exactly right. And people will say, oh, you guys think you're changing the world. And I think we are. I know, Crystal. You okay? I think we are changing the world. One fart at a time. Can I just say... Dave, I'd like to know your opinion on the whole, you know, you're the one doing the farting here today in this room and in this podcast. What's your opinion? Should, how long should you wait to fart in front of someone you're dating, someone new, your partner? What's a good timeline? I don't think you should fart in front of your partner. I'm sorry? I don't think... Mm -hmm. That you should fart in front of your partner. Okay, explain that one to me. Well, okay, what I'm trying to do with Crystal right here, between you and I, if I could put some kind of device on her ears right now so she couldn't hear me, I would. But what I'm But what I'm doing right now is I'm it's called nagging crystal. Okay. And what What what, does nagging mean? answer what does nagging mean i was hoping that she wouldn't hear that but well, she, she did. only has one ear covered could you plug the other one please nagging is when you like somebody but you're acting like you're not really liking them so you so you tear them down and then like before you know it their confidence is low and that's when you swoop in and get them so i'm farting in front of her like a friend right now okay okay so she doesn't think that I'm attracted to her because I keep farting. But for my partners, I don't fart in front of my partners. Wow. If we started dating, she would not hear a pip or a squeak out of me. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And so that's called? Manipulation. Psychology. Same thing. Okay. Okay. Eric, Crystal, you're good. So what I think you were trying to say was kind of along the lines of gaslighting and 
manipulation. Well, gaslighting with... That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one don't right hold, there. Don't hold a lighter up to that thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't hold a lighter up to that thing. But no, I don't fart in front of my partner. Well. Hmm. Okay. Now, leave a comment. Leave a like. Uh, help us decide which is the right side of this. I think you should never fart in front of your partner. She says do it on day one to establish dominance or some alpha chick thing mm-hmm. that's going on or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed yet, you got to do that and hit that bell. Mm-hmm. That helps us out a lot. And share with a friend or whatever. Yeah. Please do that. Please share our podcast and be sure to email us. Okay, we're reading those emails. TrailerTalespod at gmail.com. And we're getting a lot of a lot of you guys have been uh, emailing us saying, uh, why don't y'all talk about this? What about this between this? Or, or talk about this? So every, all the things we're talking about, you guys are, are writing in and giving us information, so keep doing that. You're guiding the ship to this podcast. Mm-hmm. Exactly. They have on the captain's hat. But do not get mad if we don't read your questions, because we're literally swimming I think, in them. I think earlier he said we had 10. 10 emails. And you think we got, you know, we're trying to do all this, do all that. That's going to be a lot. That's three people reading 10 emails. That's approximately three emails a piece, three and a, and a third. We yeah. can't get to all of them. But eventually we will. Yes. And give us time to go through those. Okay. No. Be, please be patient so with us. So don't comment. Well, don't you ever read my comments? Well, it was probably either dumb. Yeah. That's probably one of them. Mm-hmm. Or, or we're getting to it. Or we're getting to it. Crystal, when do you think? You should be able to fart in a relationship. Oh, I'm I'm with her right away. You gotta. I'm not one to to try to hide. So when I'm on a first date, I'm farting. I'm not washing up my area too good because I want them to know, hey, this thing ain't always going to be smelling good. Wait, you know? so you purposely don't clean your downstairs on your first? I date. clean it, just not not clean it clean it you wait know, not, what's the difference between cleaning and cleaning cleaning well you can what i do is a two-step method what's wrong with this guy is he okay yeah Camera guy. what yeah. are you doing mister he's, he's making cool. adjustments or whatever well, and, should i keep talking or what am i and doing he's got a boner yeah. he must love dirty <laughs> go ahead yeah he ain't never heard nobody talk well anyway <laughs> so i got a two-step method i use a washcloth and wrap a uh, piece of I take the soap and wrap it up in the washcloth and I wash it. Then I give it a a sniff. I hate washcloth smell. Well, hey. that's the only way for me to determine if I'm smelling. If I'm smelling that washcloth and it has a stench, I know I got to go down there and do a double time. Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? On a first date, I'm only doing a swipe one. Yeah. And most guys like a little tang anyway. I do like I know. Miracle Whip. Exactly. Exactly. And biologically, guess what? Men are drawn to your your earthy smell. Mm. Exactly. So she's not doing it wrong. She gets dick out. Not after night, she's got a new piece of dick. Don't even worry about her. She's doing it right. They don't care if I'm farting or shitting. Mm. They don't care. Mm-mm. As long as when it comes down to it, they're getting either this mouth or this asshole. <laughs> and that's how we're going to end the podcast today, y'all. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Who did that? Oh boy! Oh the boy! The butthole you ever heard? That was the squeakiest fart I've ever heard in my life. Little mouse down there farting underneath you. Jesus! Oh my god! All right, we'll see y'all next week. See y'all. Bye bye. Bye. Sorry, y'all. I love you. What's wrong with that guy? What is he doing? I don't know what is happening. The fucking farts. Nobody farts more. Trailer Tales!